On this episode of Zambian Heroes and Greats, we remember Lewis Changofu, aka the Chachacha Mastermind. In 1961, as a way of compelling the British government to end the unpopular Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, the United National Independence Party UNIP embarked on a campaign dubbed Chachacha, meant to make the then Northern Rhodesia ungovernable. And one of the masterminds behind the movement was none other than Lewis Changofu. FBI trained and head of intelligence for the United National Independence Party unit. Lewis Mutale Changofu was born on the 5th of October 1927 in Chief Mwamba's area in Kasama in the northern part of northern Rhodesia. From an early age, Changofu was involved in controversy, unable to go to secondary school after education authorities in the district barred his entire class from doing so for failing to perform certain chores despite them having written their exam. Following his ban from proceeding to secondary school, Changofu was sponsored by his father to South Africa in 1947 to further his education. Changofu packed his bags and headed for Lusaka en route to South Africa. However, in Lusaka, he met one of his cousins and everything changed. In Lusaka, Changofu stayed with his cousin as he was preparing to go to school in South Africa. But in the process, his cousin outwitted him out of his school money after promising to repay it at the month's end. Unable to pay his debt, Changofu's cousin arranged with some friends to have young Changofu start work at government printers as a trainee printer and book binder. While training on the job at government printers, Changofu enrolled at South Africa's Lyceum College to study Forms 1 and 2 by correspondence. It was there that he began receiving regular visits from an enthusiastic African nationalist and politician by the name of Harry Mwangang Kumbula. Impressed by the charisma of Nkumbula, Changofu became a keen disciple and was among Kumbula's campaign team in 1951 when the former was contesting for the presidency of the African National Congress ANC against Godwin Bukosita Lewanika and Safeli Chileshe. Kumbula won the elections, but shortly after, Changofu was fired from government printers. Changofu was fired from government printers in 1952 after taking part in a one-day strike against the proposed Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland. He was encouraged by Nkumbula to seek political office, which he did after winning elections for the position of ANC Lusaka District Chairman. At the same time, Alexander Scott offered him a job as printer and proofreader at the Central African Mail. In 1958, there was a split in the ANC, which led to prominent and more militant members such as Kenneth Kaunda, Simon Mwansakapwepwe, and Munukayumbwa Sipalo leaving after they felt Kumbula had failed to live up to the occasion when he had traveled to London to negotiate for independence. This led to the formation of the Zambia African National Congress ZANC with Kaunda as president, Paul Kalichini as deputy, Sipalo as secretary general, Kapwepwe as treasurer, Ruben Kamanga as deputy treasurer, and of course, Changufu as chief national trustee. The party did not last long and was banned after only a few months in existence. When Zank was banned, many of its leaders were arrested and detained in designated areas, but not Lewis Changufu. Changufu, who got wind of the arrests, eluded capture by heading to Tanganyika under the guise of representing the party's case to the pro-independence Pan-African movement. However, things did not go according to plan in Tanganyika, and upon his return, Changufu was arrested at Broken Hill, now Kawe, and sent to detention in Chadiza for 10 months. Colonial authorities assumed 10 months of detention was enough to dissuade him from involvement in nationalist politics. However, they were wrong. In fact, the 10 months achieved quite the opposite. Upon his release, Changufu joined UNIP and was again elected chief national trustee. It was while holding that position that he spearheaded the Chachacha Rebellion. Initially, there was a war cabinet constituted to oversee Chachacha operations. Its members included Lewis Changufu as leader, Arthur Winner, and an Irish party member, Mr. Edmond, among others. 
However, after several failed operations pointed to a leak in information, the UNIP Central Committee decided that there be only one war plan, Lewis Changufu. And with that, Changufu went on to establish the Chachacha Uprising Committees on the Copper Belt, Northern, Ruapula, and Eastern Provinces, which on a regular basis gave him briefings, each province reporting to him on what they thought was the best way of bringing about independence for Zambia. As the Chachacha mastermind, Lewis Changufu underwent training at the International Police Academy in Washington and was attached to the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI, in the United States. He was also in charge of intelligence gathering in UNEP, with the main task being the recruitment of civil servants into the party in readiness for independence, which was on the horizon. After Zambia got independence, with his training and experience in security affairs, Changufu was appointed Minister of State for Defense and Security before being elevated to the position of Minister of Information and Postal Services in January 1965. He would later serve as Minister of Home Affairs twice in 1967 and between 1970 and 1973, and also at Labor and Health, Power, Transport and Work. In the 1973 elections, he was moved from his traditional constituency of Mansa, which he had held since independence, to go and stand in Kasama. He stood against his in-law, Joka Pelikisha, and lost. A loss which marked the end to his political career. Having left politics, Changufu went into private business, joining Andrew Sardinis' Chivote group of companies as vice chairman. He equally had shares in a family business known as Kingston's. Lewis Changufu died on Wednesday morning, the 27th of April, 2016, at the University Teaching Hospital at the age of 88. He was put to rest at Leopards Hill Memorial Park after a mass at the Cathedral of the Child Jesus at Pop Square in Osaka.